What would you say if someone told you that the world around you is not real? Of course, many of us will deny this as we can see, hear, and even touch it. But we invite you to reflect, for there have been recent discoveries that put this topic into debate. Let's start with the simplest examples proving that everything is not as we may think it is. The first of these relates to what we see. For example, that the leaves are green. What we understand as colors is information about electromagnetic wavelengths that our brain receives through our eyes. But we cannot be sure that other people see things the same way we do, like animals, for example, who see the world differently. In addition, there are rays that we are not able to perceive at all, such as infrared, gamma, ultraviolet, etc. The sound signals we hear can also be distorted. And even more, the tactile sensations can be questioned too. Because when we touch something, there's still some distance at the atomic level. It's the same story with the sense of smell. But this, like the previous examples, can be attributed more to perceptions. However, just recently, there has been a discovery that further calls into question the reality of the world around us. For this work, in 2022, three physicists were awarded the Nobel Prize. But to understand what we're talking about, let's add a little context. Since the discovery of the quantum world, there have been two types of experts constantly arguing about its mechanics. Some were determinists, the most prominent of whom was Albert Einstein. They maintained that everything in the universe has causes and regularities. On the other side was Niels Bohr and proponents of the idea that reality is based more on probabilities. Einstein was convinced that if you have information about a body and the forces that act on it, you can calculate exactly what will happen to that body. However, after several experiments, it was proved that quantum particles do not behave according to determinist logic. Perhaps one of the most famous tests that stumped them was the double-slit experiment. It showed that the behavior of particles depends not on any laws, but on the presence or absence of an observer behind them. When no one was watching them, the particles behaved like waves, and when they were watched, they broke into particles. Einstein, for his part, argued that humans just haven't yet learned to recognize the parameters by which they behave that way. That's all and that a banana lying on a shelf in a store was and will remain yellow whether anyone looks at it or not. Throughout the 20th century, the rivalry between scientists continued, now divided into classical and quantum physicists. Soon the latter made a discovery that horrified even themselves. It turned out that elementary particles can be in two places at the same time and even influence each other, depending on the proportion of probability. One of the most famous such experiments can be attributed to Schrodinger's cat, which many people are familiar with. Please don't worry, we love kitties, so we want to make it clear that this was purely a thought experiment. But returning to the features of elementary particles in quantum mechanics, let's move on to quantum entanglement. Given that particles divide, like cells, let's imagine the textile from which two gloves were made, the left and the right one. Initially, the textile of gloves was one, because of which they remain connected or quantum entangled. Now let's put either glove in a separate box and close them, not knowing where either glove is located. We can put the boxes a great distance from each other, even millions of light years away. And until we opened one of the boxes, both gloves would be in a so-called superposition, being both left and right at the same time. However, when we open one box and see a left glove in it, it will instantly mean that there is a right glove in the other box. And given that we're talking about elementary particles, it means that the information between them is transmitted instantaneously. That's if one glove called the other at the moment of opening the box and said, hey pal, I turned out to be the left one, then you should be the right one. This brings us back to the three physicists who received the Nobel Prize in 2022, Alain Aspie, John Clauser, and Anton Zeilinger. They studied photons, trying to answer Einstein's question, do we really not have enough equipment to measure the characteristics of tiny particles? In a trail of experiments, they proved that elementary particles have no characteristics, and these only appear at the moment of measurement. And hence, our universe cannot be called real, because its components do not behave predictably until you look at them. It looks like Einstein was wrong and it is impossible to connect quantum physics with ordinary physics by any formulas, laws, etc. 
What is predictable in our visible world is unpredictable in the quantum world, but everything we observe is made up of quantum, unpredictable particles. The most incredible thing is that somehow the connection between so different worlds is working. Perhaps one of the most pleased with the results of these experiments has been Elon Musk, who has long maintained that our world is a simulation. But it is true, simulation in the quantum world is very similar to the work of a modern neural network with machine learning. It may not have a rabbit wearing a kimono in the database, but if you submit such a request, the system will give you a result. In the same way, Tiny particles in the quantum world do not have any specific characteristics until they are requested to do so. It's certainly too early to claim that we're all living in someone else's computer, but it's also become harder to deny after recent discoveries. Surely in time we will find more accessible explanations for this particle behavior after all. Electricity was once considered magic too. Subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with new discoveries and interesting facts about our world and the universe around us.